Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? I feel like it has been forever since I have been on here. So hello, everyone. Get my stuff going up here. Hey, Jackie. All right, let's see where I'm here so I can see your comments. There we go. All right, say hello as you come in. Whoops. Hey, Jackie. Wrong one. Okay, that's better. All righty. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Delia. How's everyone doing? It is Tuesday night. I feel like I haven't been on here in forever. It's been a long time. So, um, hello. Uh, the craft show was awful. That's all I have to say. It was terrible. Um, let me see. I'm hearing myself. So let me make sure this is turned off. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, the craft show was terrible. I didn't sell anything. Not a thing. It's crazy. But you're going to have this. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Kate. Hey, Remy. All right. So um, we're going to be making this lovely sign tonight. We woof you a Merry Christmas. Ah. Uh, no biggie, Susan, it happens. You know, you just got to let it go. <laughs> just got to let it go. Um, so, and this is from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs. You have no sound. Is that, can everyone, can anyone hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Sandra says she doesn't have any sound. Can anybody hear me? Let me type it in. Can you guys hear me? Okay, you can hear me. All right. Yeah, if you're having trouble, um, can some tell her to go back out and come back? Okay. I don't know why she's having problems. Sometimes that happens. Sorry. Um, all right. Thank you. All right. So we're going to be making this tonight. And then um, I don't know if I showed you guys these. It's been, I feel like it's been forever since I've talked to you guys. Um, oh, okay. Um, so this is a new sign she sent me. And it has the textured on here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. The texture where the white is. And then it has this little pom-pom. So isn't that cute? Awesome. So that's a new one. And then I think this is a new one since last time. Family and friends are the greatest, are the true gifts of Christmas. Hey, Joy. All right, good. So there's a couple new signs that she has. Now, she is also running a special through the end of October. If you buy four signs, you get one of equal or lesser value free. And any order over $60, she's, ordering free sh uh, she's offering free shipping. So... Check her out. Check out her signs. Check out her site. All right, Jackie. I was just telling them about your special that you have going on through the end of October. There's Jackie. Um, these are her signs that she has made. So um, Jackie from the Crazy Chicken Lady. Let me pin that so you have it. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's where you get the signs. Um, so, like I said, she's running a special right now. If you order four signs, you get one free for equal or lesser value. And all orders over $60 get free shipping. So that's till the end of October. Um, she's adding more signs all the time. So make sure you go check her out. You got knocked off again? Jackie. Um, so this is the one we're going to make tonight. I requested that she make this one and she can customize colors, you know, all kinds of stuff. So um, she's trying to crank out new signs uh, as quick as she can. So if you guys have any ideas for signs, you can send her a message also and um, let her know. So those are a couple new signs we have. So we are going to be making this one tonight. Like I said, ha um, we woof you a Merry Christmas. 
So am I frozen or is it okay? Okay. I made my wreath form as usual. You guys know I like my made ones that I make. So um, if you guys could, if you don't already like and follow my page, please do so. If you could go check out my Etsy shop and all that fun stuff, and my YouTube page. So I know, isn't that cute, Trixie? Yeah, that's really cute. I couldn't decide between that or the the bone tonight. So I picked this one and we'll do that another day. So um, this is the sign we're going to use. And then this is the mesh. I love this mesh. I don't know how many of you guys saw the live from Ed London Reef today. Say hello. Um, I got this mesh there. Isn't it beautiful? But you can also get this at um, Craft Outlet. Hey, Kim. So we are going to be doing um, 10 inch poofs. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So we're going to do 10 inch poofs. And I'm going to start on the top row. So let me get these bottom ones out of the way. Yeah. So I got this at Ed London Wreath, but they do have it at um, Craft Outlet also. Thanks, Deborah. Yeah. If you guys could share this video with your friends and family, I would very much appreciate it. Okay. Oh, it's frozen. Yeah, this first one, for some reason, there was no voice. Um, I did a take two. Hey, Sandy. So I kind of got off that one quick. Um, so try looking under take two for that because I don't know what happened with that. I have no idea. Are you from Pennsylvania too? Awesome. Thank you, Monica. I appreciate it. And this mesh is a really pretty mesh. What is it called? The place I went to today, Mary, or the mesh? The mesh is called, um, let's see, it's a white ombre. And if you look online at Craft Outlet, it's item number XB980-09. Hey, Pam. You had no voice on take two either? Oh, I don't know what was up with that. Sorry about that. I, yeah, because I asked and I thought everyone um, could hear me on the second one. Oh, darn. Well, go check out their, their video. At least you can see that the um, stuff they have. Hey, Verlene, how are you? Hey, Rose. But I love this mesh. Isn't it pretty? Like, just so pretty. Hi, and hey, Kathleen. No problem. Hey, Denise. I am making a We Wolf You a Merry Christmas um, wreath tonight. So, let me get this going. Let me fix this here. It's driving me crazy. Voice was fine on my second take. Uh, I don't know what is going on with that. I, I don't know whether if it was the internet connection or... Um, what it was there because I know hey Kathy I know I was having um, a couple issues getting on so maybe their internet was just funky today so I don't know hey Kathy so again I'm just doing the 10 inch ruffle or the 10 inch poofs and I'm just gathering it and putting it there hey Kathy so, so what is everyone up to tonight? I know it was weird not being on last night, but I had a great time with my family at the Halloween parade. It was a little chilly, but it wasn't too, too bad. Um, I took some hot tea and, you know, kind of did that. Hey, Janet. Hey, Rosie. How you doing today, Rosie? So, but, you know, it's October. And then today it was like 70 degrees. You just can't, you can't figure it out. Can't figure it out. Okay, because I love this mesh. It's so stinking pretty. So, but yeah, don't forget to share this if you would. And help me get my name out there.
So what have you guys been doing? I really do feel like I haven't been on here in forever. This is a 14-inch wreath form. It's from the Dollar Tree. I would say 99% of the wreaths I make. Hey, Jerry Lynn, how are you? Oh, yeah, I think it's going to be a long healing process, Rosie, for you with that foot. So I get, um, like I said, I get my frames at the Dollar Tree. I like to put my own, um, thank you for sharing, Kim. I like to put my own pipe cleaners on and do it that way. I don't know why. I mean, I think most wreath makers like to use the work forms, but I guess I'm not most wreath makers. Thanks for sharing, Jackie. So then once you get to the top part done and you come down to the bottom, you want to um, put it where there's another one, of course, and how I make my mesh, uh, my work form, there always is. You don't want to pull it because, you know, it'll pull the mesh over. So you just want to kind of loosely set it in there and then start on your bottom row poofs. Hey, Christine. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. We are making a um, dog bone wreath tonight. A little Christmas doggy wreath here. Okay, so oh, that one I'll put it back in. So so have you guys made anything fun this weekend? Anything good? I've been super busy as usual, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I thought these colors were really pretty. I got, like I said, I got this from Ed London, but they, they have, I bought all of it. Um, hey, Virginia, well, welcome from Little Rock. Glad to have you. Um, Ed London really doesn't have a lot of mesh. They're not really a big mesh carrier, but they did have some, so. I'm really loving this, this mesh. Oh, Janet, I hope you have better luck than I did. Now, last year at the same craft show, I sold 14 wreaths. Now, this year, I do have to say, um, I didn't really like the space I had. I don't think it really helped. And there was like four other wreath vendors. But, you know, I didn't see anybody else... You know, not that I really had time to walk around and look, but um, I didn't see anybody there selling any either. So I hope you um, have a good craft show. I think I've almost given up on craft shows. <laughs> well, I have some, Jackie. I bought it all. <clears throat> So, but yeah, I found lots of good stuff down there today. Um, they just, at craft discount, I don't think I've heard of that. Is that a, um, is that an online store craft discount? I've never seen the craft discount. I know, Janet. I'm telling you. I am using the very inner row. I use this row and then the third row. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think at um, Craft Outlet, um, um, it was like $9.50 for a roll of this mesh. So, will do, Jackie. But yeah, I'm really, this mesh is really, really pretty. Just kind of spreading out the poofs as I go. This is 21 inch mesh, okay? Yeah, and it's, um, I got some other ones there too today. I'll have to show you. Um, that's really pretty, you know, like Christmas colors. But they're all 21 inch. I don't like the way that was laying. 
Hey, Nancy, how are you? Thanks. Hey, Tracy, how's it going? Now, for those of you who have um, watched me before, I usually make my own work frames, and I um, put 18 pipe cleaners on, but hey, Johnny, but I don't... Um, I don't use six of them. It's just kind of the way I have um, started doing it. And because I think the ribbon gets too crowded if you use all of it, you know, if you use every one of the pipe cleaners. So that's just a preference that I have. And that's what's nice about, um, you didn't get a message? Well, that's weird. Um, type live and hopefully, you know, you have to answer the questions in order to get them so um you should get them but yeah isn't this mesh gorgeous I just love the colors in it i got two other of the um mesh today from there so i'll show you guys that when i get done here they're all you know the christmas colors Oh, Johnny, I got your package um, today, but I didn't have a chance to look at it yet. Oh, welcome, Deborah. I'm so glad you found me. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. If you guys would like to get alerts when I go live, just type live in. Um, that is so weird. You know what, um, Rosie, let me write your name down and let me check and make sure because if you don't answer the questions that once you type in live, then you do not get automatically, um, you don't automatically get added to the list. So you have to make sure that you're actually answering, you know, the questions because otherwise you won't be added. So make sure you answer the questions. Um, and it's just basically confirming that you want, hey, Rita, hey, Sandra, hey, Christine, um, confirming that you want the alerts. Because a lot of people go on. Yeah, that is so weird. Rosie, I'm going to check it. Hold on. Hmm. Is anybody, when, um, is anybody on, are you getting the, the alerts right now? If you type in live, did you get, okay, you are. Um, let me see. Let me see, Rosie. Nope. Rosie, you're not even on the list. That is so weird. I don't know why. Dora, let me see. No, I don't have, um, huh, that's weird, I don't know, but make sure that you answer those questions, because otherwise, you won't get the alerts, you got yours, you got yours, yeah, huh, hi Jane, yeah, I don't know, maybe many chats acting weird, but, um, make sure that you do that, go in and answer those questions, because a lot of times, People just type in live alert and then they don't answer the questions and they don't get added. Um, this mesh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you should have gotten it. Just answer them again now. Okay. Um, I will go back on and make sure Rosie um, and check after tonight. If you got, let me see, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, because you should be getting them. Of course, now it won't work. Hello. Sorry, I know. Sometimes, you know, this stuff's great when it works, but when it doesn't, it drives you crazy. Hey, Nikia. Hey, Lauren. That is so... I don't understand that, Rosie. Um, but I will check. I will check. 
Yeah, I, I don't understand why you're not getting it. Because it's not even... Like, I can go in and see who is on my list. I mean, I can't add people. But I can delete people. Did you ever sign up and then... Um, unsubscribe because sometimes if you do that let me see let me see if i can pull it up that's gonna bug me now two minutes ago okay i have tracy and sherry um that just got on nope no rosie huh yeah because tracy Klimple and Sherry Royal Barnes just signed up. So, I don't know. But try it again and see what's going on. You Did not Did you get the answer? You got the questions, right, Rosie? It's so frustrating. <laughs> hey, Doris. Hey, Cindy. I know it's so frustrating when something's supposed to work a certain way and it does not. I know, isn't it pretty? It worked, yeah, it worked for Tracy, okay. Yes, I have Facebook, yeah. Oh, that's, well, yeah, she would have to, I would think. Don't you automatically, hi, Gracie. I don't know, that's weird. Try it again, let me see something. I'm sorry, you're having, I know, right? I know. Just when you think you have everything you need, of course, you see something else. And um, you need that too. That's the nature of this business. <laughs> All right, let me see, Rosie. If you are answering the questions. Oh, wait, there you are. Okay, yeah. So you should be getting alerts after this. I'm doing 10 inch poofs. Oh yeah, it would be adorable. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so I'm just now going back and just making sure that all of my um, poofs are open. And this I got it at London Wreath today, but I bought all of it and they're not really going to get any more mesh. But um, you can get this at Craft Outlet. They have the same mesh at Craft Outlet for $9. I think it's $9.50. So, a roll. This is 21 inch by 10 yards. Okay, look how pretty that is. Don't you love that? Love the colors. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some ribbon tails. And I cut these. Let me know what you guys think. I cut the tree to kind of make it a little Christmassy and then these dots. And I kind of wanted to do like the black and white to match the um, sign. So, and then I think I'm going to do, um, so let's see what this looks like. And this, um, if you do that poof method on the 14 inch, you can probably get two rolls out of that wreath or out of that. Um, I'm sorry, two, I can't talk today, two wreaths out of this roll because it is a premium mesh. So you only need to go one time around. All right. So these are cut to 14 inches and then I'm just folding them in half and putting them in here in each of the long pipe cleaners. So then what I was thinking was, we're gonna put this sign on, and then thinking of doing some of these. I'm just kind of putting some I'll print ribbon in there. Oh my goodness, Stephanie. Yes, I did. Way too much. All right, so what do you guys think of that? 
I like that combination with the Christmas tree and the polka dots. I think that's what we're going to go with. All right, so I'm going to add these first, and then I'm going to go back and do um, the paw print ribbon. And then I also have, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Lori, how are you? Um, I have some little dogs that I found at, um, at where was it? Um, Home Goods last year, at the end of the year. And I don't know if I'm going to add them or not, but we will see what that looks like. Because I thought they were cute. These wires come out of that. And these two ribbons are from Sam's, I believe. Sam's. Oh, the Christmas tree one is from Sam's, and this one is from um, Costco. I know, and if you, um, you know, I don't like all the mesh to be hidden because it's so nice. Hey, Lori, how's it going? So I try to kind of make sure it stands out a little bit. Happy anniversary, Johnny! That's awesome! Girl, you are not that old. You are not that old, Johnny. Happy anniversary to you. That's amazing. Wow. Not too many people make it to that number these days. My husband and I were just married 36 years in June. Hey, Pamela, how are you? Don't forget to bless my page by sharing this on your, with your friends and family, if you would, please. Um, yes, Brenda, I got it at the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Wreaths and Signs. I did put that comment in there. Um, I don't know if I pinned it, though. I don't think I pinned it. Um, but it is in there. And she does, you know... Like her name says, she does custom signs, too, so. Wow, Johnny, that is awesome. How much are these signs? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow, 53 and a half years. Oh, surely. That's awesome. Yeah, Jackie makes them. I know I pinned the comment, but, um, or I didn't, might not have pinned the comment, but I know it is in here somewhere. Let me do it again. There you go. All right, so that's where I got the signs from. There we go. Um, so you can get that there. Hey, Pamela. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. Glad you found me. We are making a dog wreath tonight, or Christmas themed dog, dog, dog wreath. Wow, congratulations, Rosie. That's amazing. You know, I think in today's society, a lot of people, uh, marriage is disposable, just like everything else. So it's nice to see, you know, that people are, I mean, you all know it's been married any length of time. It's not easy, but, um, you know, hey, Darlene, how are you? No problem. We're just glad you're here. Yep, Jackie says the sign is $10 plus shipping. So if anybody needs any information, and like I said, she's running that special right now, too. So welcome, Shirley. Glad you're here. Oh, the wreath. Um, I won't know until I get it all done, until I know um, everything I'm putting on it. But if you're interested, just shoot me a message here on Facebook. And when I get it all done, I can send you the um, pricing. 
because I never quite know what if I'm going to put you know everything on or too many toes on the sign oh no I like it but you can always if you think it's too many if you want to order one you can um have her you know put less on it's up to you that's what's nice about the custom signs too she can customize them to your liking hey sue how are you and i'm just taking these and um you know folding them in half and attaching them in 47 and a half congratulations Yep, just send me a message and I can shoot you the um, price when I get it all figured out. The ribbon is 14 inches. Hey, Kathy. Yeah, right? People don't, they don't stick with their marriages, you know. Now, I get it. There's definitely reasons to divorce, but um, nowadays, if it gets a little hard, you know, people bail out, so. All right. So I just take it, fold it in half, and then I just gather them together and put it in usually um for your ribbons wow congratulations kathy if i do 10 inch poofs 10 or 12 inch poofs i usually um do 14 inches i i mean i don't there's very rare occasions where i don't use 14 inch to be honest i just i use, usually always do 14. i think you kind of get with you you know you use the same thing all the time but i know kathy right it was so good to see you last week. Kathy and I got together for lunch last week. It is actually Sue. Um, yeah, Kathy, I am. Um, it is actually one roll of mesh. It just comes, it's called ombre, where it goes from like a green, like a dark green, and then a little less, and a little less um, to the red. This is what it looks like. So it has the green and then the white and then the red. I put um, I put ribbon in all of my full pipe cleaners. I want to show you the, some of the other mesh that I got too. So that one, and then I got this one, which I'm sure Craft Outlet has, just red, you know, lime green, red, darker green, and the red. And then this one is like a fabric mesh. It's that red and black fabric mesh, which I love this mesh too. So, Oh, congratulations. Welcome. So yes, yeah, so I got this mesh today. All right, now to the little kind of ribbon things here. Now, I, this ribbon, you guys, this ribbon, this ribbon, this ribbon, this paw print ribbon, it's satin. I mean, it looks nice, but it's a pain to work with. <laughs> I know, right, Kathy? We definitely are. We can't, We definitely are. All right, so what I'm going to do with this ribbon, this paw print ribbon, is I'm going to cut it to 20 inches. And I'm going to cut two her yes i did nina but you can get this at craft outlet um the mesh you can get at craft outlet because um ed london really doesn't carry a whole lot of mesh and i think i think in fact they're going to stop carrying mesh thank you I wasn't sure if I was going to do this or not, so that's why I didn't cut this. So, And, of course, I'm using my mesh roller for this because you can't do it without it to four. I'm just going to do this this way. All 
I just, this ribbon is just really hard to work with. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know whether it's the satin on it or what it is, but it is really hard to work with. Now it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, it just does not want to cooperate. And you're not dovetailing the ends or anything, so you don't have to worry about how the ends are. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The, I think the Ed London, I don't think they really, they're not a big mesh um, place. They're more like the florals and stuff like that. So I know like the mesh they had, they're kind of, you know, done selling it and they're not going to sell anymore. All right, so let me see if that's enough. All right, so what we're going to do is these were cut um, 20 inches, and all I'm doing is I'm taking them and I'm folding them in half and just kind of making a little bow like that. I know this, I just do not like this mesh or this ribbon. I mean, it's pretty, but it's a pain. No, I didn't do good. I didn't sell a thing. You know that um, that Rudolph that I made, the plush one? I had so many admirers for that, but people didn't want to pay it, so it didn't sell. And I'm putting two of these in each of the um, pipe cleaners to kind of um, make a little bit, like a, not a flower, but kind of a little different bow. Hey, Patricia, how are you? So it looks like that, I think. And so we're just going to go around and do that one. Yeah, this ribbon, I, they need to come out with a different paw print ribbon because it just, it's not easy to work with. So what I'm doing is I'm just going back and putting one this way and then i will turn one the other way yes they're doggy print ribbon yep and fold it over oh how did you do sue wow that's great debbie i don't know i just don't have a whole lot of luck at craft shows now last year like i said I did this same craft show and I sold 14 um, wreaths, but this year, I don't know, I think, I don't know, who knows. Yeah, you like this sign, isn't that cute? Yeah, but I mean, I had like a lady that bought one from me last year, you know, sought me out. She wants to um, order, you know, a, a wreath, so... Hopefully I'll hear from her. Hey, Mabel, thank you. Um, Jerry Lynn, it's, it's not, first of all, it's not easy. Um, you just kind of, I would start out um, like trying to sell them like on your local, maybe yard sale sites. Um, try Etsy. You really have to try everything and kind of see what, what works for you. Um, so there's no really one way to just start selling. It's, it's, you kind of kind of get yourself out there and get your name known and, um, that kind of stuff. So, but you can start on Etsy, start on Facebook, you know, like the Facebook, Facebook yard sale sites, that kind of stuff. They are hard. There are, they are so hard. I have um, two more, or I think three more craft shows I'm signed up for this year. But I'm not signing up for any new ones, and I'm not going to do them next year. I'm just not. It's too much work. I mean, you haul everything out there. You haul every, you know, set it up. And, um, you know, I do it by myself, so it's not easy. 
a lot of hard work. It's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Because it is a lot of hard work. Um, Beth, you can try it. It just depends um, how they're willing to work with you on the pricing. Like, do they want a percentage at a consignment shop? I mean, usually consignment shops, people are looking for deals. So I don't know, but you can always try it. Like I have some at my local chiropractor's office and I've sold a couple through him. Um, oh, thank you, Tia. Oh, the ribbons are 14 inches. Now these, the paw prints are 20 inches. I'm kind of making little bows out of them. So I cut those to 20 inches. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Tia. I appreciate that. I love, I really do love making them. Yeah, the paw print I did 20 inches. No problem. So it's just, it's a lot of fun. To me, it kind of melts all my stress away. And Lord knows I've had enough of that lately. <laughs> so it just, um, I don't know, I just really like it. So make sure you check out my Etsy shop um, so I can sell these. <laughs> the frame, um, oh, that's good, Debbie. The frame is a 14 inch. So, all right, thanks, Kathy. Have a good trip. Okay, so that's just the top row, okay? So we went all the way around the top row doing that, and now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom row, but it looks like I need to cut some more. Yeah, this was 10-inch. Um, oh, thanks, Nancy. Yeah, this was 10-inch poofs. Whoops. Oh, I got my pins. Get this out of the way. Now, this does use up a lot of ribbon, but I like the way it looks. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, well, I think around here there's a lot of people doing deco mesh wreaths. Like last year, there wasn't a whole lot. Um, a ribbon stuck to the wreath. Oh, I might. Oh, yeah, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> Two, four, six. Oh, um, I have used 10 inch poofs for that, but you are going to have to use um, a lot of mesh. You're going to have to go around more than twice probably because it's not going to give you as good of coverage if you just use the 10 inch. Hello, Sandra. How are you? I need two more. Um, I get my boxes, unless you look, you can look online to see if you have a um, box maker near you or something. But honestly, I get my boxes from Amazon and I'll tell you why. Because a lot of places that you look, the box prices are great. They're better than Amazon. But by the time you add shipping on, it's like three times as much for the um, boxes. So I... Oh, there goes the dog print ribbon. Um, so that's why I buy my boxes off of Amazon because you can. It, oh, there's another one there. Um, it's the prices are just as good. Thank you. 
in fact, they're better. So I just go ahead and order, you know, my boxes off of Amazon because you get free shipping if you're an Amazon Prime member, of course. But Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, I think it's turning out really cute. Gonna have to order more paw print ribbon. Maybe I can find something, a, a different one, because this is so slippery. It's just not, um, not easy to work with. So, but it's really cute how it's turning out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, isn't it adorable? I love it. You know, sometimes you look at the colors and you think that is not going to work. Um, but then you put it together and it just pops. I use, um, I usually try to use a 20 by 20 by 4. Now, um, if you use these wreath frames, by the time you get done with your wreath, now this is going to measure like right at 20 inches. Um, you really want to try to keep your box size down when you're shipping because the bigger the box, um, you're going to pay a ton more money. So you really want to try and keep it down, your box size down as low as possible. So I try always to ship in a 20 by 20 by 4 box. And look. My husband and I owned a UPS store for five years. I ran the UPS store. I can't tell you the kind of things that I boxed. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it's better than going oversize and, you know, because you're going to pay an arm and a leg. You know, people are going to pay an arm and a leg for shipping if you put it in a bigger box. So I use the 20 by 20 by 4s. Now, if you use one of the work frames that starts out 15 inches and ends out 24 inches, you're probably going to have to use a 24 by 24 by 6 box. But I don't know why. I'm just stuck on these wreath frames that I make myself. Um, Loopy, I don't have a price yet. If you are interested in this wreath, just send me a message. And um, once I get it figured out, I can um, send you the pricing on it. Because I never really quite know exactly how much I'm going to put into it. I mean, I have a general idea, but um, I don't know for sure, you know, if like I'm going to add other embellishments or something like that. So, oh, thanks, Bobby. There isn't, you mean for shipping, there really isn't an average price per ounce. It really goes by um, your box size and your weight. So, like I said, if, if I try to keep all my boxes in like the 20 by 20 by 4 size, and that will help you keep, they do get a little smushed, Nina, but you know what? They're going to get smushed anyway. If you put them in a box, if your wreath, say, is measures 20 by 20 by, um, by 6, and you put it in a 24 by 24 by 8 box, let me tell you, like I said, my husband and I owned a UPS store for six years. The boxes get piled on top of each other. They get smashed anyway. Um, so you're better off putting it in a smaller size where it just barely fits and um, making it, you know, that way. Because the customers, you're going to have to fluff your, your, you know, you always have to fluff stuff anyway. And stuff's going to get smashed. I don't care what size box you put it in. If you think it's going to be, you know this huge box and it's not going to get smashed. It's going to get smashed. I can just tell you that from experience. I get my boxes from Amazon. Yep. But you can always check to see if you can find like a local box manufacturer near you to see if you can get them cheaper. Um, but really I found that buying them off of Amazon because I have Amazon Prime is the cheapest cheapest way to go so okay just about 
done with the ribbons here. This is a very addicting um, craft. <laughs> no problem, Nina. I hope I helped. Um, it's just, it is, it is hard because you don't want it to be smashed, but yet it's going to get smashed no matter what you do. Honestly. Because the way they stack the boxes and all that. Um, the paw print ribbon was um, cut to 20 inches. Oh, yeah, they'll work, but you're just going to end up having to put it in a bigger size box, Nina. So it's all relative. It's all, um, let me try to get this paw print ribbon to. It's all, um, you know. Well, USPS.com, I mean, they only have, you know, the certain sizes that they, I mean, I'm sure they sell boxes too, but um, the, your wreaths won't fit in those. Well, my wreaths won't fit in any of those boxes. Oh, awesome, Amanda. Oh, thanks, Cecilia. Yeah, it is a very addicting craft. It really is. One too many. But, hey, it's better than a lot of other things you can get addicted to, right? <laughs> okay. Now, now, I have one other thing. Um, Paula, you just said stop. That means you won't get alerts if you, pre if you say stop. Oh, good. All right. So that's what it looks like in that pretty. Yeah. Costly, Becky. Yep. All right. So then now I found these. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to add these. I found these last year at, um, and I think it depends who buys this because I found these last year at home goods and I only have a couple. I don't have any. Um, but I think they're really cute. All right, I'm, oh, my stapler's downstairs. Ah, my stapler's downstairs. All right, well, I won't be adding the sign. <laughs> but I will put the sign right in here because my staple, I left my stapler downstairs. So I'm going to put that in there. But I have some of these that, depending on who buys it, if they want them, um, I can add them in because I just thought they were so stinking cute. Isn't that cute? Put like, you know, a couple in there. But I ha I only have six of them. They, it was actually a garland. And um, I was like, you know what? That is so cute. So I thought I would add a couple of them. And see how we liked it. But aren't they cute? Just thought they were adorable. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but I just thought these were so cute. So what I'll do, like I said, I'll, I'll put this sign like right there. But aren't they cute? Look at those little dogs. I thought that was adorable. So, so I do have enough of these dogs if I add three to make one more wreath. So if anybody, um, you know, wants one, I can actually make two of these. So I'll just have to get the sign and more of the paw print ribbon, but... All right, so that is it for to Oh, can you can't see it? Can you see it? Like I said, sorry, I don't have my state. I left my stapler downstairs. I don't know if that's what you want. Okay. So if anybody's interested in this wreath, just shoot me a message and let me know if you want it with the dogs or without. And then one other thing I will do is um, 
I will take these um, pipe cleaners that are sticking out and I will just curl them in to kind of make a little decoration there. Okay. Um, how thick it is, it's usually about six or about six inches. Yeah, so this one's about probably about five and a half, six inches thick. So, all righty, so that's it for me for tonight, and I'll be back on Thursday night. And like I said, if anybody's interested in this, um, this wreath just shoot me a quick message and i'll give you pricing with the dogs or without and um i like i said i know i can get another sign from jackie so no big deal on the sign and everything else i have so let me know thanks guys and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on thursday night take care bye <laughs>